welcome everyone to this presentation. I'm self raising. We are going to be looking at resolving this question successfully in this presentation. And so stay tuned, stay connected, and if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly do so and don't forget to like the lesson. Let us get started. The question said Given the volume of concrete to be used in constructing 10,000 liters ROC water tank stand to be 5.578 cubic meters. The concrete strength is C20 slash C25. Actually, this is a concrete te uh, technology uh, master class. Okay, so these questions actually uh, come from there. And I uh, will be taking us through on how this uh, question relates to proto structure successfully. So let us get started to the following thing we are actually required to calculate. And so as well, number one question is how many bags of cement to be used in the work. Number two question is the quantities of sand in cubic meters. Okay. And then number three question is the volume of quartz aggregate to be used. All right. So this is a, a typical example of the water tank, a reinforced concrete water tank stand that we actually designed in the last lesson. Okay, so we are going to be calculating the numbers of bags of cement to be used in this uh, reinforced concrete tank that we have designed. Okay, and as well as the quantity of sand and the volumes of the quartz aggregate successfully in this uh, presentation. So let us proceed. And also, if you want to join our master class, you can DM us at this uh, links right here. So let us make progress. We have a solution right there but before we go into solutions where well, we have to show us uh, one thing in proto structure how you can extract some of these figures in proto structure so let's get down to proto structure all right so here in proto structure we have this uh, reinforced concrete tank stand designed successfully okay so how to extract the total volume of concrete For the constructions of this uh, reinforced concrete tank stand, you have to just navigate to where you have, um, uh, think uh, where you have uh, report and drawing tab. This tab, so you click right there, and then you come to this uh, quantity extraction table. You, you just have to click on it once, and then in the quantity extraction tables uh, dialog, you have a uh, tables. One is shows the concrete. Uh, quantity extractions table and then this one is for the form work so we are consigned with the first options so you get that selected and click on calculate so the program will have to calculate and then after the calculations you can notice that uh, the foundations has its own uh, you know quantity or the volume of uh, concrete mind you each of these volume are in cubic meter each of these figures are in cubic meter, all right? And then we have for the beams, all right? We have for the slabs, the rib slabs, we don't have rib slab here, yeah. the blocks, we wouldn't have blocks here. Yeah. But by the time you sum up this one for the foundations, this one for the slab, which is this slab we have here, yeah. okay? This one for the columns, and then this one for the beams. You will have 5.578 meter cube or cubic meter successfully so this is how you extract the total volume of concrete that is to be used for a particular design that you have done in sprinter structure reinforced concrete uh, design successfully so this is the value that this is where we extract the total value that are that is that is in that questions that we are going to be resolved okay the next thing that you need to get from here to is the concrete strength so which concrete strength did you use in your design and so you have to close this first and then we have taken notice of that is also in the question we will be going back there to solve that question successfully okay so it is 5.578 uh cubic meter right there so i will close this as well and also i want to ask us to also join our master's class <laughs> okay master's class proto structure design master class is really structural design master class in uh, auto about 
okay and most of the you know civil engineering design software so you can join our master class through the link in the description of this video so the next thing we will look at is um, how to get the quantity uh, the, this concrete strength you know during design you have to select all of this okay so we will get to where we have uh, we get to where we have uh, let's get to this place building set out and then you come to where you have materials click on this, the material now this plot has structure 2022 so the we have our material this one is the concrete strength that is why in the question you see c20 slash 25 okay so here is the concrete strength okay so this is the concrete strength that we are going to be used okay so i just want to show us how you can extract all of this important structure and all of our uh, calculations is based on this uh, tax stand of uh, 10,000 liters of uh, water okay so this is how to extract those important information so let's get back to uh, where we can resolve the questions successfully so just as i said earlier so here is the value we extracted from the proto structure after we must have done with the design of this uh, tank stand i don't see tank stand and then the, the concrete state we concrete strength we also extracted from proto structure which is c20 25 successfully all right so let us go into the calculations aspect of it so here we have our solutions right there and then some of these things are being given to us okay we have the total volume of concrete which is 5.578 all right which have shown us how to extract that in total structure successfully and then we have the concrete strength to be c20 slash 25 so tossed miss ratio to this concrete strength is one is to two is to four all right the miss ratio to this concrete strength c20 slash 25 is what is to two is to four successfully all right and so if you have here this particular part explain the part of cement which is the one is for the cement okay the two is for the sand and then the four is for the quartz aggregate successfully so let us make progress the sum of ratio is one plus two plus uh, four equals seven that is the sum of this ratio okay one plus two plus four equals seven all right and so the volume of concrete per unit items is going to be this particular total value divided by the sum of uh ratio okay now half it to be 0 0.796 cubic meters just like this okay then to answer the question one now all right to answer the question one we now have to the volume of cement in the mist ratio the volume of cement in the mist ratio is going to be this volume of concrete per unit item multiplied by the part of the cement to have 0 0.796 cubic meter which is the volume of cement okay the volume of cement content in this uh, particular uh volume of concrete the volume of cement content in this particular volume of concrete we have it to be 0 0.796 cubic meters successfully just like that note the volume of con the volume of cement per 50 kg bar is equal 0 0.035 cubic meter okay you know cement are measured in a uh, 50 kg bag all right so that 50 kg bag contains a volume of 0 0.035 cubic meters all right so with this now we can be able to know the numbers of bags of cement to be used for the construction work all right so toss bags of cement in this in 0 0.796 cubic meters which is this value here is equals to 0 0.796 cubic meter divided 0 0.035 uh, cubic meter so cubic meter we cancel that cubic meter and then by the time you do the division you have 22.74 bags of cement to be used for the constructions of the uh, reinforced concrete tank stand okay 22.75 approximately you can take it to be 23 bags of cement that is required to carry out the constructions successfully okay so we proceed i'll also ask us to Follow this link to join our uh, masterclass successfully. So in the question three. All right, so resolving other questions, question two first, 
the volume of sand in the mixed ratio is equal to two times the volume per unit uh, you know per unit uh, quantity of uh, concrete okay so we now have the volume of sand in that uh, concrete uh, total volume to be 1.594 cubic uh, meter so this volume of sand you can just take this volume there are trucks that you know measure sand in volumes you get so there are trucks that measure time, uh, sand in uh, you know uh, one cubic meter two cubic meter three cubic meter there are five cubic meter trucks okay of sand there are also 12 cubic meters okay there are also 16 cubic meter so it depends so with this now you can take it to the market and be able to get the volume of uh, sand of these okay for this particular uh design sorry for this particular constructions so for question number three the answer is the volume of quartz aggregate in the mix ratio is four times the unit value okay which is 3.184 cubic meters just like this okay so with these two to get your quartz aggregate you can also get to the marketplace and be able to present this volume and they will give you the exact this volume of uh, uh, quartz aggregate which you can actually use successfully to carry out the constructions and then you can also know the price based on your calculations so this is how to calculate the numbers of bags of cement the volume of sand and as well as the quartz aggregates in the constructions of uh, that uh, particular uh, tank stand of the reinforced concrete uh, volume 5.578 successfully so this is the end of this presentation i want to urge us to like the lesson subscribe also share as well and you can also join our master class training in total structure master class training in autodesk revit structure master class training autodesk robot master class training in uh, sub 2000 okay and all of the software that we have been training on this channel Stay tuned, stay connected, stay safe. We see you in the next presentations. Thank you for staying with these presentations and bye for now.